Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the 25th question from CBSE Class 10, 2023-24, Additional Practice Questions, Mathematics Standard, with Subject Code 041, Section B, where each question is of two marks. Now, this question has an OR question as well, which will be discussed in the same video. And this question belongs to the areas related to circles chapter. ABCD is a rhombus with side 3 cm. Two arcs are drawn from points A and C respectively such that the radius equals the side of the rhombus. The figure is shown below. If BD is a line of symmetry for the figure, then find the area of the shaded part of the figure in terms of pi. Show your work. Now let us come back to the question and try to understand the given things. Now ABCD is a rhombus with side 3 cm. Now one of the properties of a rhombus is all the sides have equal lengths. If AD is given as 3 cm then we are going to write AB also as 3 cm, BC is also 3 cm and CD is also 3 cm. Additionally there is another property of rhombus where the opposite angles are going to be equal. Now here for angle A we can see the opposite angle is angle C. So if angle A is given as 60 degrees, angle C also becomes 60 degrees. Now once we have come to this point, they have said that A makes an arc BD and C also makes an arc BD. So here we are actually having two sectors. One sector is ABD by taking A as the center and the second sector is CBD taking C as a center. So let me draw this again over here. So here we can see I have drawn the sector ABD and this is the shaded region and this is the line of symmetry BD. Line of symmetry is if we find out this side of the shaded region, then the area of this shaded region will be equal to the area of this shaded region. That is what is line of symmetry. Now, if we are considering the sector ABD where A is a center, then the lower part of this shaded area represents a segment belonging to the sector ABD. And to find out the area of the segment, we take the area of the entire sector ABD and subtract area of the triangle ABD from it. So let me write over here. So area of the segment BD is equal to area of sector ABD minus area of triangle ABD. Now we know the formula for area of the sector. It is given as theta over 360 times pi r square where theta represents the central angle in this case it is 60 degrees and R represents the radius of the sector. Now to find out the area of triangle ABD, let me highlight this first. Now one of the angle is given as 60 degrees. Let us try to find out if this is an equilateral triangle. Now the two sides are given as 3 cm that means this angle, let us take it as X, is going to be equal to this angle. Let us take it as x. Now using the angle sum property of the triangle, we can write here 60 plus x plus x gives us 2x is equal to 180 degree. So 2x is equal to 180 minus 60 which is equal to 120 degrees. So 2x is equal to 120 degrees. So x is equal to 120 divided by 2 which is nothing but equal to 60 degrees. That means each angle over here is going to be 60 and 60 degrees. So we can see that this is an equilateral triangle. And the formula for area of equilateral triangle is given as square root of 3 divided by 4 times side length square that is side of the triangle is going to be considered. Now let us start substituting the values here. Theta that is the central angle 
here is 60 degrees so let us write here 60 over 360 degrees times pi times radius square so here it is 3 so let us write here 3 square minus square root of 3 over 4 and here again the side of the triangle is again 3 so we are going to write it as 3 square next simplifying this we get 61 times is 60 and 66 times is 360 so here 3 square is 9 so let us write here 9 over 6 pi minus again 3 square is 9 root 3 over 4 this can be again simplified further that is 9 over 6 can be divided and written as 3 3 times is 9 and 3 2 times is 6 so we have 3 pi over 2 minus 9 root 3 over 4 now let us take a common LCM that is 4 is over here so we are going to multiply here with 2 and here also with 2 so we are going to get it as 6 pi minus 9 root 3 over 4 that is a common denominator now this is the area of just this segment now this line BD which was acting as a symmetrical line divided the area into two equal halves so if we get the area of this region that is going to be equal to area of this region so the total area is going to be the sum of these two areas so let us write down the area of the shaded region as so area of shaded region is equal to segment BD from the sector ABD that is this region plus segment BD from the sector CBD that is this region so let us substitute here so instead of writing this entire thing twice we can just write it as two times the area of the segment we got that is 6 pi minus 9 root 3 over 4 so we can simplify this further by dividing 2 here and 2 over here so we are going to write it as 6 pi now split the denominator among the numerators so it is 6 pi over 2 minus 9 root 3 over 2 now again we can simplify this 6 over 2 2 1 times and 2 3 times so we get the answer as 3 pi minus 9 root 3 over 2 centimeter square so this is the area of the shaded region so here we have made use of the area of the sector formula and area of the equilateral triangle formula to find the area of the segment and we have multiplied the area of the segment by two times to get the total area of the shaded region now let us move on to the or question Vasim made a model of Pac-Man after playing the famous video game of the same name the area of the model is 120 centimeters square. Pac-Man's mouth forms an angle of 60 degree at the center of the circle. A picture of the model is shown below. Vasim wants to decorate the model by attaching a colored ribbon to the entire boundary of the shape. What is the minimum length of the ribbon required in terms of pi? Show your work. Now let us try to understand this question and this question is again from the areas related to the circles chapter. Now let us underline the given data here. It's given that the area of the model is 120 centimeters square. That is all of the shaded region is 120 pi. Pac-Man's mouth forms an angle of 60 degrees. As you can see 60 degrees is given. Now since this angle represents 60 degrees at the center of the circle we have the angle as 360 degree so if we consider the shaded region this forms a major sector and this forms a minor sector so let us find out the angle of the major sector so if the total is 360 we are going to subtract the 60 from it and get here the angle as 300 degrees that is 360 minus 60 so we have got the central angle of this shaded region Next, Vasim wants to decorate the model by attaching a colored ribbon to the entire boundary of the shape. 
boundary is these black lines which you see what is the minimum length of the ribbon required in terms of pi now when they mention the minimum length of the ribbon we have to find out the perimeter of this given shape so the perimeter of the given shape involves this arc length let me give the names as a and let me take a name over here b and this point i'll take it as c and i'll take this point as o so a b c forms an arc length and o a and o c forms the radius of the sector so let me mark here r now if you observe in the entire question they have not given the radius of the sector but the area of the sector or the area of the model is given and we have found the central angle so let us make use of the area of the sector formula to find out the radius now so we have the area of the sector abc given as theta over 360 times pi r square now area of the sector or the shaded region is given here that is area of model is 120 pi so let us substitute the value here we are going to write in place of area of sector 120 pi and theta represents the central angle of the sector of the shaded region and we got it as 300 so let us substitute here 300 divided by 360 times pi r square pi and radius is not given so let us keep it as r square now let us keep r square on one side of the equal to sign and send the rest of the terms on the other side so here let us take the 360 and multiply it with 120 so here r square is equal to 120 pi multiplied with 360 and these two that is 300 times pi goes and divides the 120 pi so we are going to divide it and write it as 300 pi times pi now let us start simplifying this fraction we got now here we can cancel 10 from 120 and 10 from 300 similarly 10 from this and 10 from the 30 and pi also can be cancelled from the numerator and the denominator So we are left with twelve times thirty-six divided by three. Now this can be further simplified. Three one times and three twelve times gives us thirty-six. So now twelve times twelve we get it as one hundred forty-four, and this is going to be our radius square. So to find the radius, we take the square on the other side of equal to sign, and it turns out to be the square root of one hundred forty-four. which is nothing but 12 so we got the radius as 12 cm now we are going to make use of this radius to find the arc length and since we have to find the perimeter of this shape we have three parts here that is the arc length abc and the radius oc and the radius oa so let us write the perimeter of the shape now So here we have the perimeter or boundary of the shape which is the sum of the arc length ABC plus radius OC plus radius OA. So we have the formula for arc length as theta over 360 times 2 pi r where theta is the central angle of the sector and r is the radius of the sector plus the radius OC we just now got the radius so let us write here 12 plus 12 and let us substitute the values of theta and r here theta we got it as 300 over 360 times 2 times pi times the radius is 12 plus 12 plus 12 we will add it together and we will get it as 24 so let us now simplify it further that is 10 let us divide from the denominator and the numerator and here 12 one times is 12 and 12 3 times is 36 so let me write here so we have the remaining terms 30 over 3 times 2 pi plus 24 and now again we can just divide the 30 and 3 3 one times is 3 and 3 ten times is 30 So ten times two is twenty. So we have twenty pi plus twenty four centimeter. So this is the length of the ribbon.
Vasim needs to decorate the given shape. So here we found out the arc length and the radius of the given sector by using the area of the sector given and the angle of the minor sector. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. If you know any other way of solving these two examples, do comment below. And if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.